Welcome back. I'm Andrea Jean. Today we're getting a ton done. We're putting clothes away here in the master bedroom. Moving on to the master bathroom. My kid's bathroom, always a pit. Into my son's room, putting away a ton of laundry. And always the kitchen needs some love, the living room, and there's way more in store. And scrubbing some walls. I know, we're really getting down and dirty here. But before we get into that, today's video is in collaboration with my dear friend here on YouTube and Instagram. It's Candace from Olive and Acres. I absolutely love her. I love her aesthetic. We have very similar channels and content, and I think that you will really enjoy her too. I'm going to have everything linked in the description, a lot of useful and helpful information and cleaning motivation. So when you're done here, go ahead, check her out and let her know that I sent you. Thanks for being with me here today. I am so excited. It's way more fun cleaning with you right alongside me. Um, and if you're not cleaning, I hope by the end of this video, you are rip rearing and ready to go. Subscribe if you're new here. Also head over to Instagram, Andrea Jean one I post on Instagram stories every single day. I love it over there. It's a place to connect, to really get to know one another. And as you know, over here, she's cleaning and organizing for busy women because we're all busy in our own right. Whether you're working outside the home or you're working from the home or you're a stay-at-home mama, we all are trying to juggle and do it all. All right, time to put this laundry away. I'm going to be bopping in and out of here. Let's get into it. But wait one more second. Make sure that you stay until the end because I'm going to be sharing one of my guilty pleasures with you all. And I want to know from you what is one of your guilty pleasures. Let me know in the comments below, but make sure you stay to the end so you can enjoy this pleasure with me as well. So this pack and play here is for my husband when he's in the doghouse and he's been naughty. This is where he has to sleep. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something though? I uh, know it's for the baby. He sleeps in the closet because it's dark and quiet. And there is my other son. He is three and a half years old and a bundle of trouble. If you have a three-year-old, you know exactly what I mean. All the fun and giggles, but oh boy, a patience tester for sure. I find um, dusting this to be so gratifying, but what's a little bit tricky with the sun shining and you can really see all the dust. So I have to just let it go. Even, I, even though I could see all the dust particles still it looks just a little bit better and just a little bit more shiny. My parents are actually going to be coming to stay at our house for the weekend while my husband and I take a wedding anniversary, um, little trip up to the twin Cities. So looking forward to that. I want to make sure that the room is all nice and tidy and I don't normally tuck in the duvet there into the side of the bed, but I actually prefer it that way. It looks much nicer. It's a little bit wrinkly here. Um, looking back on the footage, you can see all the details. All right, let's get the rest of this bedroom whipped into shape.
this is a new method product that I had purchased. It's tub and tile, but I'm just going to use it in the bathroom. It's a eucalyptus mint, and I really enjoy it. It is not too overpowering. It's just pretty fresh, and it goes nicely. And I didn't notice a difference here, cleaning the toilets or my sink. You'll see in the next couple of clips with this product. Um, it worked pretty well, so I would highly recommend it if you haven't already used it. And the blue bottle definitely caught my eye when I was in the store. So good packaging on your part there, Method. asking yourself what are you doing washing your cleaning gloves to me it's like you would wash your hands after you got done cleaning something so I don't have two separate pairs of gloves I know other people do that I do think that is a good idea but for me this is just what has worked so yeah I just wash the gloves up really good when I'm done or when I'm transitioning from the toilet to something else because that toilet yeah a lot of gunk laying around there I recently saw someone who had pink cleaning gloves and I desperately need to get those. I would love some pink ones. Here I have a little helper always trying to get that tripod. Don't worry my husband is here. He's getting ready to take our kiddos to swimming lessons so he was being really helpful and just watching the kiddos while I got some cleaning done here. But back to the cleaning gloves. If you know a place where you get your own cleaning gloves where they might have a cute pair of pink ones or hot pink ones that would definitely go with my channel vibe, let me know. Let me know. I'd love to hear it. Also, these cleaning rags, I have a ton of them. I just take old kitchen towels that were dirty and dingy and I cut them up and I probably use throughout my house while I'm cleaning 10 different uh, towels just because from one surface to the next, it's nice to have a nice cleaning rag. Now moving on to my son's room. This room of all the places in our house does not get very messy. He doesn't play a ton in here and if he does I got bins like you can see here. I can put all the toys back in there but he generally prefers to play in the living room or downstairs. We have a big basement and toy room so cleaning up in here is pretty easy peasy. And now my daughter's room who is five that is a whole nother story. She is the smallest trinkets and such. She recently bought an lol doll with her savings money. They get quarters when they um, like make their bed, do things above and beyond around the house. Basically anything that we're trying to shape or encourage them to do, we'll give them um, quarters intermittently for those sorts of things. But she bought an LOL doll and those things are so stinking tiny. Ay, 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 all the little pieces. Okay, so time to put these clothes away. Now you can see the baby hasn't moved into this bedroom, into the crib yet, but I do keep his clothes here stored on the top shelf and then my three-year-old stuff is on the bottom.
moving on to the kitchen. I was going to attack this kitchen first because you all, cleaning the kitchen is so time consuming because there's so many parts and then if I'm gonna clean it, I often feel like I need to do the floors. So uh, I'm finally getting to it, but it's easier to clean when my kiddos are gone and my husband's gone because you know that baby likes that tripod. It's hard to see here, my camera wasn't focusing very well, but I'm using the Mrs. Myers geranium scent. Now I like this scent, but I will say it is very pungent. And so it smells good. I don't know that I would purchase it again. I don't know, it, it's good. I don't know, I have mixed feelings. Have you all tried this one? Let me know your thoughts on the geranium. I have been seeing a lot of the fall scents floating around on Instagram. So yeah, girl is taking a trip to Target. Uh, maybe tomorrow I'm hoping to do that to pick up some of those. So I'm looking forward to that. Also, I wanna try the Method Toilet Bowl Cleaner and see, um, I don't know what my thoughts are on that one. Usually I use like Clorox or Lysol, but I'm open to trying something new. Here in my windowsill, I'm so proud. These are tomatoes that I grew in my very first tomato plants. Now, the rest of the one out on my deck aren't doing so hot. Something weird had happened, but these ones are turning out pretty nice. And I just set them on my windowsill here uh, to ripen up a bit more. And so far, so good. I think I'm gonna try some of those this evening. It's got me in the mood of doing something with tomato and balsamic vinegar and some mozzarella cheese. I don't know, it sounds so fresh and uh, just very perfect for summertime. The next product that I'm using is this Method Degreaser. I really love this. Now the key is to actually spray it and let it sit for the recommended time. And here it's three minutes. Sorry, my camera's a little bit blurry here on the autofocus. And I have noticed that when I let it sit, it definitely does a much better job. So I'm trying to be a bit more patient and let the products do what they're required to do. I am lucky today. I do not have to empty the dishwasher. Two things that seem to really take time, and that's putting laundry away, sorting laundry, and then taking dishes out of the dishwasher. If I don't have to sort laundry and do the dishes, my cleaning routine can go a lot faster. Now, you're probably wondering, what are all those boxes over there? So they are Brillo pads. My husband has a reselling business. He had sent them into Amazon. They didn't sell, so they sent them back to us. So he's gonna try to um, resell them, recoup some of the costs on a different selling platform. Here we are now finally going in and cleaning up the stove here. My stove does have some perma stains on there. Um, I'm pretty sure the stove is original to the house, but it's definitely looking a lot more white. So here we have a descaling solution and I want to know from you all, do you use this if you have a Keurig or do you use your own homemade solutions? I seen a video recently where someone had commented, and I apologize, I can't remember the name, but she made her own solution to uh, clean the Keurig. I think it was probably a combination of water and vinegar, but I'm afraid to try something um, because we did have a Keurig previous to this that pooped out. So if you have any insight on this, let me know. Do you do your own sort of cleaning when you need to descale it or do you purchase uh, what I have here? It's a little bit pricey. I think this one was just under seven bucks. You 
ladies are so observant. I get asked about random products around my house. This here is a hand sanitizer. It's a spray for Mrs. Myers. I love it. And I keep it right there on my kitchen windowsill. I hate stuff laying around, but this one has been really handy when my kids are coming in from the park or my daughter gets home from school. I just like to spray it on their hands, especially if they're going to be eaten. Um, eaten <laughs> if they're going to be eating when they're coming home from activities like that. Um, the scent, I'm not like super excited about the scent. I know it's a really popular one. Um, let me know, have you tried this hand sanitizer and do you like, is it the basil? I think it's a basil scent. I've seen a lot of you ladies have um, this product in a hand soap. So maybe I'll give it a whirl. It's very different than the geranium scent. Um, I guess I would take the basil over the geranium. are some more of my husband's uh, reselling items. He had got a bunch of shoes when he went out um, on his last, I don't know what you call it, trip, run, that sort of thing. So those are all shoes that he will resell at a higher price. Um, he really enjoys it. I think it's um, kind of a hunt and adventure, something that he enjoys. As many of you know, he is a full-time stay-at-home dad, so he likes doing that. Also, he got this trophy. He pole vaults still, which is pretty amazing. And uh, we had that trophy there in the kitchen for quite some time. He joked he was going to put it on our mantle in the living room. And I, I wasn't on board with that. So I'm just sneaking it here in the cupboard and we'll see if he notices. So I'm running all out of this game detergent. I don't have a preference on laundry detergent. I don't know. I like Tide. I like Gain. I kind of like a lot of different things, but I think I will try the Method or Mrs. Myers brands. Have any of you ladies tried those? Um, I shouldn't generalize. Maybe there are some men here that watch my videos, but generally it's um, ladies. But uh, have you tried Method or uh, Mrs. Myers? Is there a particular scent that you like? We're going to give it a whirl.
there's a random stain of some sort here on our couch. We rarely eat on our couch and really try not to let the kids, but you know, they bring stuff in, but it came out really nicely. I just used a dishcloth and some cold water and out it came. This material is pretty nice, I think, for helping with stain, so I'm, I'm grateful that we got that. Now time to pick up these toys. They're not too bad today. My husband oftentimes in the evenings will do a toy pickup. And uh, so I think that helps. Now spring, not spring, putting some of this carpet deodorizer down. This one I like better than the previous products that I had purchased. It's a bit more fresh smelling and it's not as strong of an odor. <music> vacuuming over here I noticed that this wall is really dingy and it makes sense because the kids walk through here to get to the kitchen if they're in the living room so I'm just wiping it down as best as I can I also want to put a collage up here on the wall so I figured it was a good time just to wipe down now I didn't get the upper area where the prints will actually be hung but um, the thing with cleaning you see one thing and it leads to another I noticed there that light switch was really grungy so I tried to get that clean too you all, this is so gross, but satisfying. The vacuum gets filled up pretty much every single time I vacuum, and we don't wear shoes in the house very rarely, so all that disgusting stuff stuck in the carpet. Now I'm also gonna go ahead and restock our diaper bins here, and then just get loaded up, especially because my parents will be here watching the kids. It'll be nice for them just to have easy access to everything they need. Just showing the time here, it's 10.36 a.m. So now it's time to dig into my guilty pleasure. You can see it's ice cream in pie, but what kind of pie do you think it is? Apple, cherry, strawberry? You all, it's strawberry rhubarb pie. I know it is 10.30 in the morning, but I figured if I'm gonna enjoy this, I might as well do it right and early because I have the rest of the day to use all of those energy. Let me know what is your guilty pleasure. I'd love to hear it. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I appreciate you all. Can't wait to see you in the next one. Take care.